Welcome back to another video with laserengravingbusiness.com. And in this video, we're going to be going over a free file that I have posted on the website. I'll be posting that link below. And um, this is something that can be really useful. It's something that I created. It's called a material thickness board. It serves a similar purpose as a caliper, but if you already have a caliper, I wouldn't get rid of it. There are still a lot of uses with a caliper. So um, this should make things a little bit easier for some people, or if some people cannot afford to purchase one of these, then this can be really useful for you. So this is what it looks like once you cut it and score it on your laser. So we have scoring here, scoring down here, everything else was cut out. And the way this works is you have um, inches, but in a decimal form. And um, this is cut out of quarter inch plywood. You can probably use any type of, uh, any size wood that you want, but I just use quarter inch because it's a little bit thicker, makes it a little bit sturdier. Hopefully it'll last longer. And um, the first thing you want to do once it gets cut out is take some sandpaper and just get off any kind of, sand off any kind of little burrs or anything that might have not cut properly in the glow forge. So you're, you're gonna go all the way down, turn it upside down and do the same thing all the way down and then flip it over and do the same thing all the way down. And this is something I've already done. So I'm not gonna do it again but that will give you a lot more accurate of a reading if you take the time to sand all those edges down. And it doesn't have to be a, a uh, you don't have to take a lot of time to do it. So I just go back and forth a couple times and that should be sufficient. But anyway, the way this works is you would find a piece of material that you need to figure out the size for. So I have this fairly thick piece of um, draft board and you would try and insert it. So the 0.21 seems a little too snug, but the 0.22 seems like it would be perfect. So what I'm going to do is test it with my digital calipers. Try and get it to where you guys can see it. And I don't know if you can see, but it says 0 0.22. Okay. Okay, so let's test another material. This is just a little scrap piece here. And so let's store it off at 0.17, too small, 0.18, seems like it, it, it could fit in at 0.18, but it's a little, little snug, kind of pushes the material up a little bit. And 0.19, it slides right in there with with a little bit of friction, a little bit of resistance. So let's test it on the calipers. And we are reading 
point when uh Okay, let's try another piece of material. This is a thinner piece of draft board. Start off at 0.11 inches. That seemed a little too snug. Actually, 0.11, I think, is where we're going to be at. 0.12 is a little too big. I think we're at point 11. So, same thing. Let's test it on the calipers. And we're at point 11, and it's kind of going back and forth between 12 and 11. So, um, I think if it came down to it and you put 0.11 or 0.12, I don't think it would make that big of a difference. Okay, let's try one more piece. This is a quarter inch plywood from Home Depot. Point one eight seems a little too snug. Point one nine seems just about right. Okay, caliper is reading point one nine. So as you can see. This little board here is fairly accurate, and if you're um, trying to create a box, that might be a time will, where you would need to know the exact um, thickness of the material, and you will run into a lot of different scenarios for needing the thickness of a material when you're creating projects. So, very useful tool to have around. And to me, I'd rather use this than my calipers whenever I'm in a hurry. Um, but like I said, calipers do have a place still, even if you download this and use it for example if you're wanting to cut two pilot holes for a handle in one of your projects you wouldn't be able to use this to figure out the, the uh, distance between these two holes so that would be a time where the caliper would come in handy so you would measure the distance between the two, 3.3 inches, and you would translate that information onto your um, program editing software. All right, so thanks for watching. Hope this will come in handy for some of you guys. And um, let me know if you're running any problems with it or have any questions at all leave me a comment or send me an email at laserengravingbusiness at gmail.com. And as always, like our video and subscribe. And we will be helping you build a better laser engraving business. So stay tuned.